Hello! I'm going to show you very quickly how to create a theater for Oculus Cinema. Get Blender installed, figure out how to use it, watch a lot of YouTube videos, uh, play with it. I uh, will start off and show some basics. So first of all, I'm going to use this cube, but I need to make sure the normals are flipped so you can see it from the inside. The green arrow toward the screen, so we don't need to worry about rotating it later. Okay, just going to get this cube to a useful size. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put a texture on this, or a material. Okay, we got a material, we're going to make it some sort of color, hideous, theater, orangey, red, no specular. And we want when you're rendering this out, you want to make sure that this looks correct in your render mode. So, oops, there's something wrong here. Let's see, what could it be? Oh, our light isn't in the scene, so... Make sure you have things how you want them and that it renders how you want it to look in render mode here because we're going to be baking in that texture. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have our texture. We're going to make a new material. It's not specular. It doesn't need to be shaded because we are going to have the shade baked into the texture. So we'll make a new texture. New Gear VR can handle nice big images. You can have lots of detail stuffed into one image. So 4096. And we'll just name that theater underscore A for the first uh, layer. When the lights are off, it'll use underscore B and color the, the theater lighting based on what's on screen, which is cool. So you want to just do this a couple times, put a light in front of the screen, render it, and bake it in that way onto that texture. So I'll just show you real quick though. Need to select all the surfaces, hit U, uh, UV wrap, give me a little island there so it doesn't overlap. And let's take a look at the UV image editor. And we're going to put that on our theater A texture. And then we want to bake it from the camera mode. Okay, there's bake, select, click that one, select to active, because these are all selected, and bake it. Ah, uh, look, we have textures. Okay, then we want to make sure this image is saved out to wherever we are putting our model. So I have a scenes directory here, theater a.png, that's what we want. Okay, now we can go ahead and make all the surfaces of this model use the new material. So assign that one. Then we can get, in, get out of edit mode, get rid of that one. You can see in texture mode, we have baked on lighting now. And so this light does not matter anymore. It's gone. Okay, now we're going to add a screen to render everything onto. Come on. Rotate that around the x-axis, 90 degrees, shove you back against the wall here. And then scale it to 16 by 9, so this should be 4.5. So that'll, that'll be 16 by 9, then scale it down a little bit more so it fits. There we go. And the material on this one can just be black. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, we definitely don't want it to be specular, though. It doesn't. Not shiny. Uh, no shiny screens here. And so that is what we're going to be looking at. We save this image off. You need to make sure that you save this and it's applied to the material 
here in order for the FBX convert to uh, accept it. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, so we also don't need this camera in the world. I can get rid of that too. So then we have our plane. We want that to be named screen. And we will name the underlying mesh screen as well. Only one of those probably needs to be it, but it's just easiest to make sure they're both there. And then we need somewhere to sit. So all of your different camera positions are just going to be triangles with a 90 degree corner. So let's just stick one in here. I'm going to edit this uh, to be a, there. Okay, I split it into triangles. I'm going to rotate it around the z-axis, so it's facing forward, and then get rid of one of these faces. There we go. And so this will be our camera pause one, and we'll name that underlying mesh this as well. And if you want camera pause two, you just make more triangles and put them in the scene. So that should be everything we need. So let's just make sure we have everything selected. We already saved the texture image out. Then we export to FBX and put it next to that texture we saved. Uh, there we go. And we'll name it theater.fbx. There we go. So then we have to make a batch file. So this is from the mobile SDK PDF from the Oculus, Oculus SDK. Just copy this off into a batch file, which I did before, but then I broke it. So give me one second. Okay, now I have this in here and have the exe name uh, set with the correct path. We'll call this theater test packet displayed in cinema, strip noter numbers. We have the screen facing the right way, so I can take off this rotate. Scaling needs to be done, all this stuff. And we did not have a camera pos 2 or 3, so taking these out. And we are using theater.fbx. Retrace the screen, and we didn't put an icon in there. You probably want to do that. Uh, so that it shows up, but that's all we need. So now we should just be able to plug the phone in, make sure it's on. There we go. And run convert. Okay, you can see it's compressing the texture now, and it should automatically start Oculus Cinema, and you should be able to run it. And I'll get back to you when it's done. And if you needed it any more meta, here is a screenshot of the v Gear VR Oculus uh, Cinema. I'm actually using Stream Theater to look at my own desktop so I can look at the me working on the theater that you're looking at the theater in. Uh, but hey, it works. Awesome.